You've seen our You vs. series, and you've seen our World Famous Who Would Win series. Now we're upping the ante, or jumping the shark maybe, with our new Battle Royale series. And we're kicking things off with one hell of a bang. Today we're putting up three of the most iconic horror characters from modern cinema in a deathmatch, where there can only be one winner. Welcome to the Thunderdome. Only this time, one man and two monsters enter, and only one can leave alive. Today's matchup is one for the history books. We've got the legendary dream slasher Freddy Krueger, weighing in at 160 pounds and armed with a glove packed with razor-sharp knives. He can jump through dreams. He can chase you from your subconscious into the real world. He's there anytime you close your eyes for a quick nap. There's nowhere to hide from the infamous Dream Stalker. Also entering the infographics battle arena is Jason Voorhees, the legendary hack and slasher and original teen sleepover camp decimator. He weighs in at over 250 pounds and comes armed with cleavers, axes, sledgehammers, and any and all matter of implements of bodily destruction. He hates teenage promiscuity and partying behavior, so keep this monster off the set of MTV's My Sweet 16. Or maybe don't because MTV and literally everything it does is terrible. Our third challenger is none other than the man, the legend, the time-traveling deadite killing badass Ash Williams. There's good, there's bad, and then there's Ash, the guy with the gun. Armed with his signature boomstick, Ash packs some serious modern firepower, but it's perhaps his famous chainsaw arm that's to be most feared by today's combatants. It can rip, it can tear, it can turn deadite dream serial killer or undead hacker and slasher into mincemeat in seconds. So who would win our battle royale? Let's dive into the combatants and find out how they each stack against each other. Freddy was originally a child murderer discovered by angry townspeople and burned alive. Since his own murder, Freddy has sought revenge on the townspeople who killed him and accomplished this by stalking the dreams and nightmares of their children. Dependent on fear though, Freddy has come up with ingenious ways to terrorize new generations into empowering him. In the dream world, Freddy is all but indestructible, with only specially trained dream warriors able to challenge him by using their psychic powers. In the real world, however, Freddy loses much of his supernatural power, though remains a formidable foe. Outside of a dream, Freddy is about as strong and as fast as a professional athlete, but his body is very resistant to damage. He can even stretch his limbs and grow taller, and his body is very resilient to damage but not invulnerable. He can have limbs hacked off and even be decapitated, but never truly dies unless he's killed in the dream world. Outside of a dream, Freddy is at his most vulnerable, placing him in a serious disadvantage in the fight. Still, he comes armed with a glove stuffed with razor-sharp knives and is very proficient in its use, making him deadly at close quarters. Freddy's greatest strength comes from his ability to terrorize dreams, but if he can't find a way to escape into the dreams of his opponents in this matchup, Freddy might not last long in this fight to the death. Next up is Jason, the ultimate teen slasher horror icon. Freddy may make you scared in your dreams, but Jason will make you wet yourself in real life. Weighing in at over 250 pounds, Jason is a hate-fueled murder machine, hell-bent on taking out his wrath over the counselors who let him drown to death on any promiscuous teenagers he comes across, as well as generally anybody else in his way. Jason's body is all but immune to damage, though he can still have limbs amputated and be destroyed by fire or explosives. Eventually though, Jason will reconstitute his physical form, typically at the bottom of Crystal Lake where he died originally. Able to lift at least as much as his own body weight, Jason is a physical powerhouse and not someone you'd want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with. Typically armed with a cleaver, a machete, or an axe, Jason is more than capable of indiscriminate murder armed with nothing more than his bare hands. Jason has one real weakness, and that's an aversion to water. The canon is rather confusing on this point, as Jason has often been shown emerging from and even killing in water, but Freddy vs. Jason revealed that the murder machine actually has a deeply rooted psychological fear of water. Perhaps that fear is supplanted when hunting down defenseless teenagers, but against a master fear manipulator like Freddy and the always clever Ash Williams, Jason may want to come to this match wearing floaties. Ash Williams is for all intents and purposes no more or less powerful than the average human. Weighing in at about 200 pounds, Ash's real strength comes from his resolve and force of will, pushing himself past limits that would break a normal man. When his hand began to go bad on him after being attacked by a deadite, Ash took the obvious solution and simply hacked it off then replaced it with a chainsaw. That takes some serious guts, and we're willing to bet is not a feat most people would be capable of pulling off. With an inhuman tolerance for pain, Ash is able to push himself to superhuman feats of endurance. Once swallowing a kettle of boiling water after having an evil mini Ash jump into his mouth and down into his stomach, we're willing to bet that that one hurt on the way out. 
Ash's chainsaw hand is a formidable close quarters weapon, and no matter how tough Freddy and Jason may be, Ash's chainsaw hand will make short work of either of the two if they stray too close. At range and in close quarters though, Ash is never without his trusty boomstick. A double barrel 12 gauge shotgun, Ash's boomstick is powerful enough to blow off a deadite's head or even cut them in half. As a firearms expert though, Ash can pick up just about any weapon and use it to deadly effect. Without supernatural powers, Ash may seem like the last choice for victory, but his tools and pure grit make him a contestant not to be underestimated. We've met our combatants, we've learned their strengths and weaknesses. Who then would emerge victorious in our battle royale? From the get-go, nobody is more at a disadvantage than Freddy, who's going to have a hell of a time escaping into the dream world where he can wield his full powers. Jason is not quite a zombie, but without the need for sleep, Freddy's best bet would be to somehow incapacitate and knock out Jason so he can enter Jason's dreams and dispatch him from there. Considering Jason's extremely resilient nature, knocking him unconscious will be no mean feat for Freddy to pull off. Ash may seem like a better victim, but over the many decades of his encounters with deadites, Ash has developed a great resistance to supernatural horror. Plus, in the midst of a fight to the death, Ash isn't going to be looking to take any naps anytime soon. Of course, Freddy could still knock Ash out of the fight by simply killing him through ordinary means, but without the use of his reality-shaping dream powers in the real world, that might be a lot harder than it seems for someone armed with a knife hand facing off against a time-traveling deadite killing badass equipped with a chainsaw for a hand and a shotgun. As we've so often mentioned on this channel, you really don't want to be bringing a knife to a gunfight. Ash hates evil, like really hates evil, but in this scenario, teaming up with evil might be the best path for victory. Jason is a deadly threat to both combatants. His supernatural resilience and strength both make him nearly impervious to damage, and getting in close enough to use his chainsaw hand might not be a good idea as it'll put Ash in range of Jason's machete. Freddy's got similar problems when he faced off against Jason in Jason's dreams. Freddy ended up losing both arms to Jason's machete. Luckily, in the dream world, Freddy could simply regrow them instantly, but in the real world, well, machete beats knives every time. We're actually starting to feel bad for Freddy in this fight. The best bet may be for Ash and Freddy to team up temporarily to take Jason out. Freddy is nothing if not pragmatic and would likely even be the first one to propose such an alliance, figuring that the human Ash will be easier to finish off once it's down to just two combatants than Jason would be. In this case, Freddy's ability to take large amounts of physical punishment may be the perfect distraction for Ash to deduce a plan to eliminate the immortal murder machine. For his part, Jason is all brawn and no brains, and as long as he has something to kill directly in front of him, he isn't too concerned with being cautious or watching out for traps. Even simple holograms of promiscuous teenage campers are enough to incur his wrath, so we're not expecting Jason to realize he's being manipulated into a fatal trap. The question though is what kind of trap is going to be enough to kill an immortal zombie like Jason? Well, while his body might be very resilient to damage, it's not immune to either fire or explosives, and luckily for him, Ash just happens to be a low-key chemistry genius. As we saw when he was hurled into the medieval ages to fight an army of deadites, Ash has a strong grasp of chemistry and explosives, and with an urban battle arena at his disposal, we're confident he'd be able to whip together a homemade IED or two in little time. But Ash is nothing if not clever, and we'd fully expect him to lay a trap for Freddy and Jason that eliminates both at once. Even if not, without somehow putting Ash to sleep, Freddy simply can't do much against a chainsaw and shotgun wielding Ash. While both Jason and Freddy are technically immortal, if their corrupted souls have no bodies to return to, the fight is basically a default win for Ash, and for the purposes of our battle royale, counts as total victory. Freddy may be able to haunt Ash's dreams after the fact, but Ash's mind might be a murky, dangerous place for Freddy to lurk. Plus, like we said before, Ash has great control over his fear, and Freddy might not find it so easy to kill Ash even in the dream world. In the end though, Ash might not need anyone's help to defeat either opponent. Jason may not bleed out if full of lead, but a shotgun blast to the kneecaps is still going to drop him like a sack of old potatoes. After that, follow-up blast to the elbows and other kneecap is going to completely immobilize Jason, letting Ash carve him up with his chainsaw hand and turn Jason into a copy of Monty Python's Black Knight. The only real danger after that is Ash straying close enough for Jason to bite him, but with a hockey mask over his face, Jason's really just defeating himself at that point. Freddy's going to end up with a boomstick to the face and then a body chopped up by chainsaw and buried deep. 
While the fight may play out differently in the dream world unless either Jason or Ash gets knocked unconscious, Freddy simply got no chance in this battle royale, and neither he or Jason can do much to stand up to the incredible power of a close range blast from a 12 gauge shotgun. It turns out that guns are incredibly good at their job, and armed with modern superior equipment, decades of experience fighting deadites, and the best one-liners in film history, Ash is without a doubt our triumphant battle royale winner. Ready for more death matches? Check out Who Would Win, Pennywise vs Joker, or check out this other video instead.